Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse and I am back for another early access game video. And we are taking a look at a retro first person shooter called Wretched. Now this is not like your boomer shooter, Quake, Doom, uh, early to mid 90s game. This, I what little bit I've played, I think I played the demo a while back. <clears throat> To me, it kind of it's a cross between like a Doom 3 and maybe Resident Evil because you have set save points that you go to, like save terminals. And the cool thing was, is one of the developers or publishers reached out to me fairly recently on Twitter and was interested in chatting with me and getting feedback on accessibility. So the team is, in fact interested in accessibility feedback so if you like first person shooters retro modern or otherwise and you want to contribute accessibility feedback um you know to make your own video or whatnot definitely go for it because they are interested so um i'm really digging this uh title track by the way it's kind of got this synth and we got some rock stuff going on kind of got this eerie vibe to it really liking it main menu not too shabby the text is clear and easy to read the mouse pointer here is good and easy to read even with the background it's a dark background typically so the text stands out it's not too small options uh this text could be a little bigger i would say if this text could be the same as like the main menu i mean you may as well just have because it's it would just be a lot easier to see um so we have uh we have control options these are like your invert and your sensitivity you've got some video settings not really a lot here at this time but you know you got your resolution you got a few other settings you do have brightness but we'll talk about that when we get into the game because i do have a few thoughts there um, sound effects, you got your master, your music, and your sound effects, and then your control, so you got your key bindings here, which it does look like you can rebind. Although, why is not my... why can't I scroll up and down with my mouse wheel? That seems really strange. I mean, I can pull the bar here, but for whatever reason, I cannot use my mouse wheel. That should be fixed, because... Yeah, I think that that feature should be added. But again, this whole menu here, it's not bad. The contrast isn't too bad. But again, I would, you know, if I hit escape here, this text here, um, even if the options were straight up that big, would be really helpful. Uh, and you got, always got to make sure to look at the contrast between, you know, we're, we're shifting between different backgrounds here, animated backgrounds. And so... We always want to make sure that there is a constant, um, decent level of contrast between the foreground and background. So we are going to do single player, we are going to do a new game, and we're going to do normal. Um, and that is the main one that we have, because we need to unlock it here. So you get a short little cutscene here, it's not too much from what I remember. The atmosphere, wear headphones if you're watching this video. The atmosphere, the sound design in this game, from what I've heard thus far, is pretty incredible. I really like what these guys are doing with the sound. And I think this is like a three or four person team. It's a small dev team, small, uh, small outfit here. So they got a really cool thing going here. Wretched. No wasting time with the title cards. So we've got a spaceship going to land somewhere. Open the pod bay doors. All right, and we are landing. Very minimalist, uh, you know, just, hey, we, we landed, we're getting the job done, okay. And the other thing I will say the graphics on this are really quite amazing. Like, they, they look really good. Now, granted, I again, I'm running this on a 4070 Ti, um, but uh, this game looks really good. 
definitely getting a lot of Doom 3 vibes to it, which is uh, the lighting and the shadows and the focus on lighting and shadows. My one major suggestion, um, I, and I know it, you know, potentially, you know, whether it's you're going for atmosphere or whatever, I really wish there was a flashlight. There doesn't seem to be a flashlight, at least at the beginning of the game. And there's a lot of dark areas, and I think it would be easy to overlook things. Um, and I really don't want them to copy the original Doom 3, where you have to choose between your gun or the flashlight. That was obnoxious, shall we say. Okay, we got a glowy thing down there. Okay. So we get our PDA. <laughs> It's funny, remember when PDAs were a thing? Like, remember when it's like, oh, we have a phone and we have a laptop and we have PDAs. Now it's just everything's in our smartphone. But this is Doom 3 is all hell. Um, so you got your different categories here. Again, kind of wouldn't mind seeing like a font scaling option. Um, just to make some of this a little bigger because my site, my eyesight is terrible. But if I click on these categories here, I click on them. Um, can I not? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Can't click on these. Um, now, what I can do, I can use Windows Magnifier. So, you know, this does work. It doesn't seem to interfere with the game. I can use Windows Magnifier, but... Um, so that is good. I got this little laser pistol thing here. Doesn't seem like I need to reload it. My alternate fire, I got this cool charge attack. That's pretty neat. Now those tool, okay, that text in the tooltip on the right side, that is small. And it disappears on its own. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if there's somewhere on the PDA where there are where I can access some of those tips like kind of a like a help section here because that those tips that appear on the right hand side that is very very small and as I said on top of that they disappear so if you even if I wanted to use magnifier it would disappear too quickly and the other thing is, when you're in gameplay, let's say a tooltip pops up in the environment and you're still live looking around, um, Magnifier doesn't work then because if I turn Magnifier on, see I'm looking because that's what the game is wanting me to do. So I can't pan around the screen when I'm looking in the environment. So kind of keeping, keeping in mind where if you have... Um, tutorials, tooltips, those types of things, having them in a place that is more static, that won't disappear unless the user tells it to disappear, um, can be very helpful for low vision accessibility, uh, because as I just demonstrated with the magnification, uh, that could be an issue. But uh, like I said, I, I love the look, I love the audio design of this game so far, it's just really good. Alright. Decontam... Okay, <laughs> what she said. Decontaminated... Yeah, look at the lighting. Look at the lighting, the soft kind of particles in the air. It just looks really cool. I keep wanting to hit F for flashlight, though. Not gonna lie. The other thing I do like... The crosshair, um, the white, um, you know, it's not just a tiny little dot or something. That generally stands out. Even in a lighter background, like, I can still kind of tell where I'm aiming pretty well. Uh, maybe having, like, a thickness option, you know, a few options for do you want to cross, do you want to circle, again, thickness, size, a few games have offered options like that. That could be another thing. And I know when the developer contacted me on Twitter, they're like, yeah, we are, we're going to add or we have a kind of a shimmering item option. So, you know, things, ammo or things that you can pick up in the environment will have kind of that glowy shimmering effect. 
and that like that is very very helpful you know many games have that I remember talking about Left 4 Dead and how I love how all of the pickups and things have that so do I have a melee attack? I don't know that I do. Okay, crouch is C. I almost want to change that. Oh, 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 I must have played this earlier. I, I already did change it to my side button on my mouse. Nice. So we are already prepared. Yeah, I, I apologize for not getting this video out sooner. Um, it was a little while ago when they contacted me, but Welcome this... Welcome to Titan Complex 1, the TDC's preeminent mining facility. This last month has just been absolute craziness with work and other projects and um, a couple other personal things that have happened. So, <clears throat> finally, finally we are, uh, things are calming down a little bit, at least for the moment. Okay, we're going to crouch under that. Holy God, this is dark. Oh, that's blocked. Okay. It's so dark I couldn't hardly tell. I had to back up and see. Oh, there's... Ob oh, here we go. All else fails, look for vents. If video games have taught me anything, look for ventilation shafts and look up. Those are two things that seem to be pretty much the thing in video games. Okay, so there's nothing there. Let's see. Does this do anything? No? All right, then. Crawl through another vent. Yeah, another tool tip. Ugh. Okay, uh, I saw an E there, I think. Ah, save point, okay. Yeah, slot one. Okay, so those are our save stations. Hopefully we don't have limited save slots like ink ribbons. Got a little bit of a cafeteria, bar, restaurant looking area here. God, listen to that music. Yeah, there we go, some physics. Blow it up. Shoot the glass. Excellent. Can't eat it? Then I will shoot it. Alright then. Uh, I love breaking glass in video games. Hell, it's pretty satisfying in real life. Uh, is there anything I can do in here, or is it just kind of a path off to the off from the save room? So we, wait, we came. Was there anything I was supposed to grab in here? So you got the save point there. Oh wait, I think this was a different... Oh, there, okay, there's the stairs. Those are those, that barrier that we couldn't pass before, okay. Got it. Yep, so we ventilation shafted our way around that problem, or, or shadow. <laughs> it's kind of weird. We don't have legs. This this seems like a game that uh, you have like the <laughs> like the top half of our torso, and then we're floating. That's a really funny image. You know, something like Chronicles of Riddick or Fear, where you have your whole body in the environment, being able to hit like Q to boot somebody to stun them for a second. Got a little kiosk here. Oh, physics on the body. You make sure he stays dead. 
Uh, oh. Oh, okay, I can jump over that. Yeah, that text on the right is really way, way, way too small. I don't have a prayer of reading that. You know, and if you're in a tech facility like this, I mean, I know it costs extra for voice acting, but, oh, blue, oh, see, now that's cool. Look at how big that text is. That is exactly blue key card. That's a beautiful thing. That That is... Bravo. Um, you know, even if you had like pre recorded text to speech for certain things, you, know, you could kind of say, well, this is a futuristic game, it's got space, you could toggle that on under options. And then, like, when a, when a tooltip comes up, it's just like, oh, my computer is talking to me, it's telling me. You know, there's a lot of science fiction games and movies where, like, your technology is telling you things, whether it be human voice acted or text to speech. So, a blue key card, that's a good thing. I don't know where the blue key or the blue door is yet, but that's fine because usually I end up finding the blue door before I find the. Oh, did I find it right here? Huzzah! Usually I find the blue door before I find the blue key card. Oh, wish I had a flashlight. Let's see. Excuse me. Hiccups. I gotta think we gotta be getting enemies pretty soon. The atmosphere of this is just I'm waiting to be ambushed. There's gotta be... Is there anything I can do here, or is it just dark? I think it's just dark. So I guess we gotta go through here, presumably. Check the corners for any supplies. Flickering monitor. Blow the computer up. Going slow because I don't know how much damage I'm going to take, and I swear to God there's got to be a guy coming up soon. Listen to that ominous... Oh, here we go. Got to let that charge back up. Nice. Headshot. Okay. Well. Yeah, this game looks and sounds like the presentation for this, audio and visual wise, is just quite good in my opinion. I know this would require a lot more work, but one thing, especially once you start getting more mission objectives, I'm going to hold up here for a second while I say this, but... A reminder to all TEC employees to use rec room terminals to save your PDA data. Sure. Um, but one thing, you know, Dead Space, the modern, especially the modern Dead Space remake has it. Um, 
you know, a lot of modern games. Uh, the Outriders was another good example. Um, you know, you can go all the way back to the Fable games, Serious Sam 4. But one of the things that I really like is if you have something as a objective marker, if I could hit a key all and then <clears throat> have some kind of an objective, you know, not just like a... You know, a lot of, especially like Ubisoft games, they love to put a little diamond somewhere, and then you just have to look around for where you're supposed to go. Uh, but all the games that I mentioned, Outriders, the Dead Space remake that came out a year or two ago, they draw a line on the ground, you know, and it stays there for maybe five, seven seconds. And maybe you could have a, a setting to say, how long do you want that to appear? Do you want it to appear for two seconds? Maybe all the way Attention up to like 10 or, or more. Um, because that would help just, you know, a lot of mainstream players. But whether you um, have a visual disability and maybe you overlooked something, maybe you have a cognitive disability and you need that extra little bit of guidance, that type of thing, um, just that sort of breadcrumb trail navigation on the ground it is really helpful and again you know it ties into your tech you're on the you're in the space station like look at how dead space did it it was really pretty cool or outriders um i really like that and to go an even step further again i know this would be a lot more work but mapping not just having that visually but somehow to map it audibly so that a blind player could navigate. Now, if you want to get in, let me pause it for a minute. If you want to get into totally blind accessibility, um, there's some extra steps that I think would be really helpful. But back to the navigation system, um, one fairly straightforward thing that you could do is if you implemented the kind of trail breadcrumb thing, one thing that really helps blind players is let's say that when you press that button to make your navigation line appear, your path appear, um, a lot of games look at The Last of Us Part 2, God of War kind of did it that way, God of War Ragnarok. Um, even, I know some players had played Resident Evil 6, and that kind of had a similar type of thing. So when you hit that button, not only does the line appear, but it automatically points your camera in the direction to where you're following the line. So every time you hit that button not only will the line appear, but you will be facing it. So if I were to walk forward, let's okay, we, you see that left corner up here. So if I pinged it, let's say I was looking this way, and I pinged it and it went pink, and then I was following the wall. And then if I look, and then I went ping it again, and then I could go, maybe it was this way I had to go or something. Um, so that would be a way that finding the critical path could also even be navigate or navigated by a blind player or even a severely low vision player you know that kind of a thing as far as total blind accessibility there's other audio cues and um you know like a pinging system would be really helpful because again if i'm walking through this environment and this has survival horror aspects to it your resources are my my guess is they're probably going to be fairly scarce and so you want to make sure that you're not missing ammo. And that's why they had talked about putting those um, shinies in. To make the shimmering, to make them stand out more. But you could have the items also emit some sort of a small audio ping. So that as I'm navigating my path, I hear something off the side and go, oh... I hear there's a collectible over there. You know, you could have different ones for ammo or health or PDAs. You know, again, look at any audio game. Look at the video I did for the Toby Doom 7.5. Uh, 
video, if you go watch the Getting Started with Toby Doom 7.5 video I recently did, um, that they took an, a 30 year old <laughs> modified Doom engine and they've added a navigation system for that. They've added, you know, audio cues so that players can find their ammo pickups and armor and health and all that stuff. So I'm not going to bog this video down too much um, with that because there's a lot more like audio cues and subtle things that I could suggest. But if you are interested in going down that path, please feel free to reach out to me and we can chat about it further because I would love to see a game like this. Oh shit! Hang on! Get the hell out! Oh, gee oh geez. Okay, I didn't realize I was backed into a wall and I was hoping that charge shot would have killed him. That could have gone better. Oh gee, okay. Uh, there's a... Hold on. Are we done? <laughs> yeah, kind of explaining things and then not really paying attention and now I got shot a bunch of times. Okay, I think I came from this direction, right? So I came from here, and then, yeah, because I see those signs. I want to keep my bearings here. Even having, um, as an option, look at, there's a lot of games that have been doing it lately. Um, the Callisto Protocol... Again, The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, um, Spider-Man 2, um, oh, even the recent Star Wars Outlaws game, um, they have like high contrast modes that you can enable, where, and they have different degrees, where sometimes it'll, like, you can choose just enemies, items, and allies, like interactables and enemies and allies, or you can put a filter on the environment to go one step further. Um, so there's a there's a few different ways. Uh, those games that I mentioned, if you're interested in a high contrast mode, those are some games to look at for examples to offer a high contrast mode. Now, if you plan on, uh, if, if a high contrast mode seems like a thing that would be good to do, my other suggestion would be to offer a keyboard shortcut to turn it on and off at will. Because Look, I, I've commented several times already how I love the look of this game. As a low vision player, I want to enjoy what this game looks like in its original form. But if I get lost, or maybe I'm, I can't quite see an enemy because he's super far away, or might blend in with some part of the environment, I could just hit a button, you know, I don't know, like V for vision or something, and that would toggle my high contrast mode on and off, if that were if that was under you know if that was enabled under settings and then i could go back from looking like this to my high contrast mode so i could use it when i needed to and i could go back to normal when i didn't because otherwise you're going in you're pausing and then i gotta go to options and then i gotta go to like graphics or accessibility then i gotta find the option turn it on then i gotta back out and it's just it's tedious and so it makes you not want to use that type of feature it just makes it less convenient to use okay let's play the game a little more here oh sh oh whoa 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 what the shit was that i thought i heard like a oh there's a hold on Yeah, suck it. I thought I saw a guy shooting me from there. I would kill for a flashlight right now. I 
And the other thing with a flashlight, I really don't like when they, you have a battery mechanic or like, oh, you turn it on and it, and then you can use it for like five, 10 seconds and then you have to wait for it to recharge again. That's kind of lame. I mean, I know it adds tension and everything, but especially, maybe you could even offer that as an option, maybe by default, if you want to have that mechanic, go for it. But offer an accessibility feature to be like, you know, just always allow the flashlight to make things easier to see. Because sometimes that literally is a usability issue as to whether somebody can play through a certain environment or not. So yeah, we're going very slowly because I don't know what the hell's going to pop out. Okay, so... That's the other side of that. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of ambient sounds that just are unsettling. You're like, is something gonna... Okay, wait, where the hell... I fell down somewhere, now I have no idea where I am. Oh, okay, oh, okay, I got... What was that, armor or something? I don't know what I got, but I think I found a secret. Yeah. Give it up, son. Stay dead. <coughs> How do I get out of here? And I know there's a brightness option, but the problem is, is I almost hate using brightness options because then um, what I often find is like it's hard to get it to look just right because then your your graphics they look all washed out. Oh, that was a piss poor aim. Okay, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse. I want to know when I get a new weapon. Will I get... Oh, what did I grab there? Because, yeah, like, more, especially if text-to-speech were enabled for, let's say, looking at my PDA, um, just look at, like, a lot of the Ubisoft games, a lot of your... Triple A PlayStation games the last couple of years, um, and they're even not just when you're in like the PDA, but like if I pick something up, it'll or if there's a tooltip that appears, and the text to speech can read it aloud. Like even uh, the Harry the Hogwarts Legacy game did a pretty good job of that. Um, so it's like oh I pick something up and it'll say oh picked up shot or Our it'll just say shotgun ammo or blah 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 PDA you know whatever name PDA or armor shard whatever it happens to be you know you don't want it too wordy but just having it announce something so those are some potential possibilities to make it very low vision and even blind friendly uh, oh okay what do we got here uh, okay text set console okay let's see Door AI, item. Please follow safety procedures. Uh, okay, I guess I hit both of those, maybe? I don't know. Oh, no. What was that I heard? Oh, Jesus crikey. Oh, shit. Please die. I said, perish. Bodias. A reminder to all TC employees to use rec room terminals to save your PDA data. Yeah, about that. I could probably use a save point right now, but... I could use health. Well, my health isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But... Touch 
Manhattan Complex One is a smoke-free facility. Please only smoke in designated areas. Fair enough. So, where do, okay, oh, this, is this that kiosk I was at before? I'm trying to remember, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I'm trying to remember where that save point was, let's see. Because I remember that kiosk, I think, if that's the same, let me jump over this, let me see. That's where we came from. Attention yeah. All That's where we came from. Okay. It is really, really dark. Okay, we're going to crouch under that. That seems very, very harmful. I'm scared there's going to be a guy that's going to come out and jump at me now. Ah! Okay, I hear somebody. Where are you at, you little prick? Does it... Thank you. What's this? Oh, I thought that was something I could. Almost looks like that could be broken or something. Okay, so presumably there's just a guy in here. Is there no health item or collectible in here? Just a dude? I mean, I can... oh, whatever. Whoa, almost walked right into the flame. Howdy. Have I been in here? Trying to listen for any guys. Yeah, I literally can't see. That is my biggest complaint with this game, is that it's really, really dark, and a flashlight would solve many of my problems. So I don't know if there was anything of significance in there or not, but I couldn't see anything. Um, okay, that is a door. Give me, give me some soda. Yeah, okay, there we go. Ow, oh, well you can get hurt by that, okay. Good to know. Okay, I did not know that. Now I do. Fair enough. Oh, this is that room where those first, okay, where we had our first encounter. Okay. Which means I think we're fairly close to that save again. Where to go after the save? I have the foggiest idea. Okay, this... Wait, was this...
Okay, here we go. I think. Unless this is a, is this a separate one? Let's see. Nope. Here we go. Let's go ahead and slot to this. There we go. So I have my start of level save and my mid level save now. Let's go out of here. And figure out where in the hell I am supposed to go. So there's nothing over here, right? No, no doors. Should I even be going this way? Or should I be going back the other way? I don't know. I mean, this area isn't all that big, so it doesn't hurt to look or oh, Okay. Uh, do we have a map? No. I don't think so. Okay, those are our machine, the machine that we blew up. Please only smoke in designated Because I hit two switches in that on that one terminal. Oh, the, okay. This is okay. I know what this room is. Okay. I remember this room. Is there an okay? Yeah, there's that flamethrower. Have I gone in here? I think this is new. I don't remember that tall stair, these tall staircases. Okay, we gotta, let's go to the vent first. This is new. Ooh, a ladder. Is this a side path? Oh, wait, what the? F Is this a different? Wait a minute. Oh, I'll take that. Wait, is this a different health thing? Or a different cafe? Okay, that's where we came up the ladder. Are there any other things around the room? So we got some health. This must be different, okay. Let's go back down here. Because there was another staircase that we could go. No, okay. I don't. I wonder if I have fall damage. That I don't know yet. Right, so now we can go up this pipe, and if I die, or not pipe, the staircase, and if I die, I'm not that far off. I'm going to charge. Call it a funny feeling, but... I'm just waiting for dudes to come out. Pride in its safety what the hell? Safety this is just a balcony? No, there's got to be some other path, right? Oh, here we go. Attention, PEC personnel. You are looking for a vacation. 
station to Mars. See you around for today on the trip. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's another door. Yeah, see, I couldn't even tell there was a door there until it opened by itself. Okay, there we go. Now I see it. Storage room. Does that mean I can get some supplies here? We got a... What is that? Okay. Ooh, oh, looks like shotgun shells. I very much require those. But I also require said shotgun to pump said things full of lead. I, you know I love shotguns. My favorite weapon in video games. Shotguns are good. So I could go... Ah! Shit! Hi. Okay, before I hit that, was there any other? Was there another path back there? Let me just check real quick. Okay, let's just go. Oops, wrong button. Oh, end of level. Okay. Kills, 13 out of 13. Restricted areas, 1 out of 2. Okay, that one, yeah, that secret that I found, that one part. Okay, PDA, 3 of 3. Okay. start this next level just to kind of see I'm hoping I find a shotgun because I want to see what another weapon is yeah another tool tip I can't read I wonder if it auto saves or if I actually have to find another save station like if I were to quit I'm just trying to listen for dudes. All these sound effects, man. They all make me think there's something that's going to come. Kill me. Atmosphere is fantastic. Oh. How do I... Do I have like an inventory or anything? Hmm. Would like to find a save point. Oh ho! I don't want to waste a lot of ammo, but I do have to try you on something here pretty soon before I quit the video. Okay, 
is really dark. Did I hear a dude? I think I did. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, you, okay, you're that kind. Okay, fair enough. Oh God, there's more. He is. Frick, how many are you? Okay. I was trying to conserve ammo, but apparently you want me to use that. Okay, let's reload. Okay. Could have stood to lose a little less health during that encounter, but I'm alive. Which I guess is an important thing. Oh, we got a key lock. That's the other thing. Like, if I, I'm wondering, I'm probably going to find PDA entries where I'm going to have to read those. Um, <clears throat> I know one thing that's, I, I, I can't remember what games did it. Was it Dead Space, the remake, where if I find the key, or if I find the code... And even, let's say, that I have technically looked at it. Um, when I move up, when I go up to a terminal or a door or a keypad where I need to use it, um, it would just kind of have a little tool tip right near the keypad. Or like, oh yeah, you found the code, so you, here you don't have to go look in your inventory or your PDA or whatever. And it would just show it. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, you found this. Like, right now it wouldn't show anything because I haven't found anything. But you know what I'm going to try just out of sheer morbid curiosity? You know I have to. Ah, come on. 0451, come on, you gotta. Yeah, I've played a video game or two in my day. Okay. Vent opened. Okay. So I could go... Is this door locked? No, it is not. Let's go through this vent. Usually interesting things are in vents. Still haven't found a terminal to save yet. Okay, there's a ladder. And a path with some pipes that lead nowhere. Oh no, uh, oh, there's another vent up here. Crikey, okay, well let's go up the ladder then and see what that goes. Jeez, Vent ventilation everywhere. Uh, okay, we're, looks like we're in like another Got a bunch of tables and stuff here. Aha! Yay! I found a save point. Let's go ahead and save it under one. And I'm going to save it under two as well, because that's going to be our starting save. Okay. So it looks like... We have our save terminal, and not much else in this room, but that's fine, because I wanted a save terminal. All right, so can I hit E on the lad? No. Can I... All right, let's drop down. Looks like we do not have fall damage, which is nice. Let's go see where this vent goes before I take that other door.
Another bath. Is this the same bathroom? Yeah. Oh, I must not have seen that door, that vent before. I missed that the first time, so let's go this way again. Then I can make my way back down to that other door. Holy crap, it's dark. So I haven't gone... The, oh, there's a door this way. I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's locked. Need some sort of security panel or something here. Well. If it's only one guy, I'll try to use this. Did I hear a guy? Yes, I did. I think. Oh, this is terrifying. Come to me, shithead. Ah! up behind me why don't you and take most of my health away I root boy okay I heard a guy and I hear footsteps okay that's where you oh, oh okay there's a guy coming okay where are you at bud come on I hear you shooting from from behind. Why don't you come up here? Okay, is there anything? God, I want health. I want to kill that guy. But I'm so gonna die. Trying to bait that guy to come in close because I couldn't see him. That's where the high contrast mode would come in really handy if I could just toggle that on. Like when I was in The Last of Us, I would call it predator mode where it was like, oh, I want to do stealth or I want to see something a little better. Just hit a key on the keyboard or hit a key on the controller and turn high contrast mode on, do my thing, turn it back off. I called it predator mode. So I'm going to... Ow, ow, where the fuck? Oh, you're up there. Uh-oh. Yeah, he blended in really well. Uh-oh, are there more up top somewhere? Yeah, no contrast. So I heard someone else taking a pot shot at me. That's the door I came in, I think. Right? Yes, because there was... Yeah, I remember that door right there. So there's still one more jag off. Somewhere. Uh-oh, okay. Here... Ah! Please die. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really getting a Doom 3 vibe to this, and that's not a bad thing. Fuck. Okay, where is he? Can't see him. Okay, he's up there somewhere. I, I can't see a damn thing. I see the muzzle flash. Oh, I think I see him. And I wish it would change red. The reticle, if it would change color or something to indicate that you're... Because, yeah. 
if you have no trouble, you know, full vision, it probably wouldn't be hard to see that guy up there, but I was just kind of looking for the muzzle flash and side strafing, hoping I dodged his bullets. Um, yeah, my health is ooh, very, very bad right now. Um, yeah, high contrast toggle could be really handy. What did that do? What did that do? Let's see, what does it say? Administrator... Oh! Oh, does that give me health? Hell yeah, it does! Sweet! So I could go back... I'm gonna go do that real quick. Where was that vent? And then that... Okay, here we go. And then... So I cleaned out that room, and it was up here, right? I'm going to go save, and then we're going to wrap up the video. Yeah, here we go. Save that under slot two. And there we go. So yeah, that is a quick look at the early access version of Wretched. Really digging it so far. Um, maybe making some of the text bigger. Crosshair options. Making uh, some sort of a objective navigation thing. Like once you have an objective, uh, if that comes into play having something like that um, font options for the PDA even maybe what I would say is even if I go into my PDA here maybe even having like a dark mode um, but I think mainly I think uh, text you know uh, like a font scaler or text size option would be good um, I like the shimmering or the outlines for items in the environment. And again, when I cl when I collected that blue key card, how large the text was when I was right close to it, that's really great. And I would love to see that for all items that you can pick up. So it's easy to tell what you are picking up. Um, and a flashlight. Uh, you know, again, um, I think it would you know i know it might take away some of the tension and whatnot but i think it would be still very helpful um like i said crosshair options text oh the tool tips making sure that they are available or tutorials types of things making sure that they're available um in somewhere that doesn't just pop up and disappear like that once you once you have read an email or something that has a key code when you walk up to the corresponding um terminal maybe just having it so you don't have to go back and look at your uh look at your email to read through and try to find where that key key code is um i because i have seen other games do it and that is helpful but a uh, high contrast mode with the option to not just enable and disable it under the settings menu, but also being able to toggle it on and off via a key on the keyboard while you are in game or a controller while you are in game, um, because that would be very helpful. And again, just looking at some of the other games I mentioned earlier in the video to see how some of these features are done, like the navigation lines or the high contrast modes offering different options. I, I rattled off a few suggestions there, but um, yeah, anyway, uh, I hope that does help the development team and with some ideas for improving accessibility. And uh, yeah, if you are a, another blind and low blind, blind or low vision player, um, feel free to leave some additional comments down below in the description or contact the developers uh, yourself because they are open to accessibility feedback so 
I'm glad I finally got around to checking this one out. That is Wretched Early Access. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.